Well, new tonight, a student has been arrested from Alderwood Middle School, accused of assaulting and injuring an educator on Wednesday. The school district put out a statement saying that the woman was sent to the hospital and is now recovering at home. Fox 13's Jennifer Dowling is live now with the details on what the district is saying, what students are saying about the reported assault. Jen? Good evening. Well, students tell me that a fellow classmate lashed out at a paraeducator following a lunch period. They tell me that she was either kicked or pushed during this assault. But uh, it didn't shock me as much as I feel like it should have. As word spreads about the student arrested from Alderwood Middle School, local Edmond School District graduate Jadon Coulier says middle school students district-wide are talking about it, including his brother. He came to me with his phone, he opened his, uh, opened his like, hey, have you, have you seen this? Now a college student at U of O, Jadon says he's previously mentored kids in the area through programs like the Boys and Girls Club and wasn't surprised by the report of violence. I'm involved with like a lot of the youth here. I used to work at the Boys and Girls Club, all the Boys and Girls Club here. And last, just last year, there's another incident too where like a kid who's like very, very present in my life, he was getting beat up at this school too. And it was a frequent, frequent thing. A seventh grader who goes to AMS talked off camera, saying that after the accused student struck the educator, she, quote, went flying. We also talked to the grandfather of a student. He called the situation, quote, super disturbing and said his grandson told him the teacher had been pushed down the stairs or near the stairs. The details of the assault are unclear. The district declined an interview, releasing this statement, saying, we are grateful the Alderwood Middle School staff member injured by a student on Wednesday was released from the hospital last night and is recovering at home. The student involved was arrested and emergency expelled from school. We want to thank the nearby staff who intervened to calm the situation and called 911. No other students or staff were hurt. The incident took place on Wednesday at the end of one of the lunch periods. No weapons were involved. I always tell my kids that violence is like it's never the way to get things done. You can always have a discussion with somebody, express how you're feeling. Jadon believes that without an emotional outlet, kids will lash out. He believes incidents of violence are increasing. I don't remember so much violence when I was in middle school um, because, like I said, it's kind of it's it's too frequent, too frequent of a thing. And I reached out to the Edmonds Education Association. A representative there tells me that paraeducators, like this woman was, are not represented by the union, so they will not be representing her in this situation. Reporting live in Snohomish County, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News.